हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू ए पी डब्ल्यू सी तो इस हफ्ते मैंने देखा सरिपोदा शनिवारम स्त्री टू और डेमोंटे कॉलोनी टू सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स बिगिन रेडी Saripoda Saniwaram quite an interesting premise to begin with the reason why surya chooses saturday for his violent escapades is explained brilliantly the movie progresses in the right direction with proper screen time which is used for setting up the protagonist and the antagonist for the final showdown potter mattam potter but somewhere i felt that the movie was too lengthy for the plot it had to offer I mean the length could have been easily reduced and it would not have affected the plot. Pucha kisi ne? Pucha kisi ne? Kisi ne nahi pucha? Still, it ends up delivering what it has promised. Nani as usual steals the show. The tag natural star suits him. His recent filmography is a testament to how good he is as an actor and the range he has. On the similar lines we have SJ Surya who is just getting more and more unhinged in each and every film he acts. I became a fan of him after Jigar Thanda Double X and his recent filmography also showcases the craziness he brings to each character he plays. Jake's Pejoy's BGM pumps all the adrenaline in the action sequences as and when required. Next, I watched Street 2. I didn't expect this to be good, but it actually turned out to be good. <laughs> I never thought they could match up to the craziness of Stree but somehow they did. Kyo hela dala na? What Stree presented was pretty simple but the sequel presents a similar tale but in an opposite spectrum. Stree mein purush safe nahi the aur Stree 2 mein mahilaye safe nahi hai. Apart from this the other major difference was the money spent or should I say splurged which becomes pretty evident from sets character design vfx dance sequences everything seems so lavish and larger than life in comparison to the prequel in fact they even went overboard with the cameos as well you have akshay kumar in this film also they have successfully connected it with bhedia and with subtlety they gave a hint of their next project the comedy was the usp of three and they have somehow maintained that in the sequel as well however the horror aspects weren't too scary for me maybe i have watched too much horror films in recent times which has made me tad bit immune to this chal chuta the music of the entire madox supernatural universe needs to be addressed because it is damn good tere chakkar mein dusri patai nahi ye sunke londe roenge on a serious note agar aisi pyari bhoot nahi ho to डेफिनेटली प्यार हो जाएगा सी मीना कुमारी के लिए तो मैं सीने पे गोली खाऊंगा छोटे सीने पे नेक्स्ट आई वॉच डेमोंटे कॉलोनी टू टू एंजॉय और इवन अंडरस्टैंड डेमोंटे कॉलोनी टू यू हैव टू वॉच द प्रीक्वेल विच वॉज रिलीज इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन एंड इन माई ओपिनियन यू शुड डेफिनेटली वॉच दैट आई रिसेंटली केम अक्रॉस डेमोंटे कॉलोनी प्रायर टू वॉचिंग द सीक्वेल एंड वॉज ब्लोन अवे विद द राइटिंग एज वेल एज द सिंप्लिसिटी with which it was created but to be honest i'm not that happy with the way they went with the sequel somewhere they just went a little overboard and that made me question bhai sir kuch zyada nahi ho gaya matlab kuch bhi the first part was damn good but in comparison the sequel doesn't feel organic well it's not bad In fact from a storyline perspective it's damn good but still something feels missing and I was unable to figure that out comment down if you guys figured the missing element in the Monte Colony 2 with the plans of another sequel i wonder for how long will the world of cinema face the brunt of sequel banking good question you are a good question that's it for this video comment down what you guys watched this week and i'll see you in the next one और हाँ अगर वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो सब्सक्राइब कर देना दोस्तों मिलते हैं अगली बार टिल देन बाय
ಒತ್ತಂದೇ 